and what is for breakfast? Well, this morning we're going to find out, kicking off a new series highlighting breakfast from around the world. So today we're headed down under, down under, for a taste of Australia. <laughs> Joining us live from Bo Bubs, it's Bubs Aussie Gourmet Pies in Lake Elmo, is Jason Drysdale. G'day, mate. G'day, mate. How are you guys doing today? We're good. We, I, we didn't have DLK today, our garden guy, so we had to bring you in to oh, fill Oh, perfect. Well, we're going to uh, take his spot and uh, <laughs> let's get cooking and uh, explain what we got going on here today. For sure. Okay, so yeah, what, what is for breakfast? So breakfast, we have the brekkie pie. Um, we have a couple of different types at the store. We have a sausage one, which is a pork sausage and egg pie. We also have a vegetarian option uh, that is spinach and mushroom. It I'm looks like a quiche. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Okay. Um, back in Australia, they're very famous for like the big brekkie pie, which they fill it through with a lot of other stuff too. Um, but you know, it's kind of very much of a hearty breakfast. Um, you can also eat our regular pies for breakfast, which I also bought in some of our regular pies. Uh, we make eight different flavors of pies. We make mini pies um, and our famous sausage rolls, um, which Let's are the best. Look at those sausage rolls. Yeah. Yeah, People right love our sausage there. rolls. Mm -hmm. Here, I, I don't want to. I don't want to put my fingers. I on didn't want to either. <laughs> and then, of course, we make a couple of classic Australian desserts. You know, obviously the pavlova, which is the classic. Okay, let's just yeah. hold on. Let's, what's let's what's zoom going in on, on in there? This. So that is a basically like a meringue, but it's got okay. a soft center. Um, we put fresh cream on it, um, and then some fresh fruit. Um, you know, the pavlova is like the staple in Australia. Um, some of the other famous one is the lamington over there. Uh, that's the stuffed flamington with fresh jam and cream. Okay. And then the custard tart right in front, that's one of our top sellers. And you've got coconut around that, you said? Yeah, so the, the lamington's covered in uh, chocolate or coconut. Okay. And strawberry and coconut. And we sell them filled or unfilled. Okay. And we also have our big Thanksgiving uh, day coming up. We do a great meal, so if anyone's still looking for some meal options for Thanksgiving, um, we're ready to go. We take your order and uh, we, you can pick it up on Thanksgiving or the day before. Lots of pies, right? Pies. We have a pie, the turkey pie. So this month our oh, pie is the turkey dinner pie. Okay. So we do a turkey, cranberries, cornbread stuffing, turkey and gravy all in the pie. Wow. Yeah. There you go. That's simple. Yeah. It's all together. So let's you put have a together lot of this. ingredients here. Yes. And, and what is it that you're going to assemble? I'm going to assemble uh, both of the brekkie pies really quickly. Okay. And then I'm going to tell people at home, um, you know, because they don't have this big mold like me. Yeah, those are pretty cool. Um, I'm going to give them uh, an idea of how they could make it. Oh, okay. okay. So basically, a couple of eggs, um, a little pepper, a little salt, some cream, heavy cream. Mm. Okay. Um, that's kind of the base of it. So it's similar like a quiche, you know. Um, I guess it depends on what kind of ingredients you want. Yeah. Yeah, you could probably. And for us at the shop, it. we always put the sausage in raw. Okay. Very sure. important because if you put this in cooked, by the time we cook it for 15 minutes, it's going to be overdone. Okay. More crispy. So we put the sausages in here. Okay. Um, we for the vegetarian we have the spinach, obviously. Mhm. Mm and then the mushroom. Do you guys eat cereal too? We do. In the morning? We like do. Like cereal milk? What's like, what kind of cereal do you eat? You eat sugar cereal? Um, Nutri-Grain. Like Osseos or Nutri -Grain? something? Yeah, that's oh, something you can't that's buy here. That's an Aussie cereal. It's, a, it's no, famous you, after the Iron it. Man. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, and then also you have the Vegemite. We gotta, we gotta talk oh, yeah. about so that. So Vegemite, most Americans hate Vegemite. You've because tried it, it right? Tastes like I don't even know what it is. In between like um, gasoline and um, um, I it's don't know, like sardines or something. Yeah, it's something in that range. Gasoline and sardines? I imagine those. Just, I, mean, I anyway, don't want to do when that. You, when you grow up in Australia, all you eat is Vegemite. So what is it though? What is it? it? Basically, it's vegetables that it's cooked so much that it turns into that like it's a you know slop, slop of uh, tasty, salty, whatever. You, whatever you, most people say it's very salty. Okay. Adds flavor. We use it in one of our pies. I'm is sorry. this one open? I don't mean to oh, offend. No, that's fresh. So, okay. and then we put this mix in here. Okay. Okay. And for people at home, you can make your own pastry or you can buy a short crust pastry. We make our own at the shop, obviously. Um, you can get a mold like this. Okay. You can put the pastry in, you can do exactly what I'm doing here. Put it in an oven at 350 um, for about 15 to 18 minutes, depending on your oven, okay? And they'll come out like that. We and finish voila. with a little cheese on top, so we get a nice little color. 
When do you put the Vegemite on it? This doesn't have Vegemite. Oh, one not of our that pies one. does. Our sloppy Joe pie. Sloppy Joe pie. Yep. Yes. Does have Vegemite. Um, okay. And uh, a lot of people come into the store. They say, "Oh, we want the pie with the Vegemite." That's you know? that's what they want. They're yeah. asking for. So okay. they want that. We just press this out. Obviously, sure. this goes through our machine and gets pushed down. Oh. You see. Mm -hmm. So basically, we throw this in the oven for uh, 15 to 18 minutes. Comes out, we take them out, we pop them out, and they come out like this. Mm. And we get a nice soft egg in there. Yeah, that's beautiful. So I also take the egg, the whole egg, before it goes in the oven, and we crack that on top. Just a, oh, just, okay, that just, makes sense, actually. You see? Yep. So that gives a really breakfast idea, you know? So you get the egg on top. Um, and we have these available every day. So um, this is pretty traditional, time. would you say? Yes, this is, this is pretty this is traditional for breakfast. In Australia, they'll put a lot more ingredients in, like baked beans and different things that people maybe don't like here so much. Okay. Um, there's so a you've adjusted it a little bit. Sydney, they're very famous for the big brekkie pie. It's a big Beans, one. Huh? Okay. Um, but this is famous, and then we also do, uh, from time to time, we do a, a breakfast sausage roll. But people eat a sausage roll for breakfast as sure. well. Makes sense. Yeah. Looks tasty. So, All right. love it. you know, Jason, that's it. thank you. And Enjoy. I'm sorry about the veggie mite comment. I mean, it I really know. doesn't taste no, like No, I'm not going to be hurt by it. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you guys made amends here. If you want to check them out, check out the menu too. You go to bubsossiepies.com. We will be right back.